The fact of the matter is we're not exactly sure when creation occurred. How long was it from creation until God sent Jesus? Was it 4,000 years? Yeah, you know, that's a very interesting question. And scholars and theologians have wrestled with this question over the years. Um, I think it was Bishop James Usher, um, an Irish uh, bishop, who calculated that creation actually started on um, the year 4004 B.C. I think he was actually pretty precise. He said he dated it to October 23rd or October 22nd, um, 4004 BC. Um, and a lot of people kind of use his um, chronology as a way to kind of date uh, creation. Uh, but the, the reality is we just really don't know. Um, you know, the Bible is a revelation of, of who God is. Um, certainly the Bible does record history and the, the history is very accurate, uh, but the Bible only records what's necessary for us to understand who God is. So there's a lot of information that we're just not certain of. For example, um, when the Bible in Genesis chapter one, when the Bible uses the Hebrew word yom, um, different scholars have different thoughts about what yom could mean. Yom could mean day in the literal sense, uh, meaning 24 hours, or yom could mean a, a period of time. Um, like a thousand years or a hundred years, we're just not exactly for sure. So depending upon how you understand that Hebrew word would dictate or inform how you, when creation occurred for you. Another problem or another um, issue that theologians have to wrestle with is the genealogies. Um, the Hebrew word ben means son or descendant. But it could mean a direct son or it could mean a grandson. So when you read those genealogies in the beginning of Genesis, and it talks about this person begat that person. It could refer to their biological natural son or it could refer to a, a further distant uh, relative like a grandson or a great grandson. So the fact of the matter is we're not exactly sure when creation occurred. There are some firm dates that we have in the Bible. For example, the destruction of um, Jerusalem in 586 um, B.C., uh, Solomon reigned over Jerusalem around um, 970 BC. There certainly are some dates that are pretty firm, but the further back you go, the more uncertain we are um, in, in terms of exact dates. Uh, but I think it's important to us to remember that the scriptures, while it records history, is not a historical book. It's a, it's a revelation of who God is, and God decided to preserve information as it pertains to what's important for us to know who he is, rather than giving us every detailed information about dates and things of that nature. Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more videos like this, be sure to hit our subscribe button below and get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We would love to pray alongside you for God's blessing in your life. Email your prayer request to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.